Hey guys, it's Matt with Railfan Depot. I'm in Roanoke, Virginia at the Virginia Museum of Transportation. We're a little early for the museum to open, but there's plenty to look at. So we're gonna check out some stuff out here in the yard. The Powhatan Arrow was the passenger consist that would come all the way here to Cincinnati from Roanoke. Pretty cool that they've been able to preserve a couple of these cars. Pretty cool with the old bicentennial paint scheme out here. Is that GP9 or GP7? This one makes me sad. It's not even inside the fence. Just letting it wither away. Glance back and look at the engine, and we got some live action in the yard beside us. action. So 480 wheel configuration. You can still see some of the Norfolk Western logo on the side here. Number 1151 480. Traveling back in time, pretty cool. So underneath the awning, you can see the back of the 611J. That's my reason for being here, that and the 1218. Can't wait to get inside to see them in person. Chesapeake and Western and a nickel plate railroad caboose. Got a lot of cool pieces here besides just the trains. That's from the Panama Canal there. Got the old trailers here from the 1930s and 40s, it looks like, with the rounded front. Pretty cool, the museum is at the corner of 3rd Street and Norfolk Avenue. Nice. Got the old color position lights that change green, yellow, red. Wouldn't mind have some of that, uh, one of those for my backyard. There she is, Queen of Steam. Finally got to come inside. set up here they got too.
Really hope to see the bigger one out back. O scale, Gargrave's track, pretty nice. Got a pretty cool bird's eye view for it up here. It's a nice layout, they did a good job. This really cool little setup for a circus, too. Somebody put some work into that. in heaven there's my second favorite right there the 1218 we got a gg1 on the right there with the electrical cantilevers on top got a virginian steam engine and a 280 i believe that's a mastodon correct me in the comments if you're if i'm wrong there 280. I got one of those up in Strasburg, Pennsylvania. O eight O number four, Virginian. I think that's the only Virginian steam locomotive that's even around anymore in any museum. Class A, 1218, 2664, A class. Man, they got all kinds of cool stuff here. I'd love to see them get this back under steam again. I don't think it's been under steam since the early 90s. Wouldn't take much though, compared to some of these other ones that are in really bad shape. Very cool. Pretty cool caboose. Give a shout out to my mom. My mom's a bus driver. How about that, mom? <laughs> Another red caboose. Yeah, I haven't been here since 2001 and they didn't have the awning here. The J hadn't been restored yet. And it was, it was just sitting out in the yard, just rusting away. I'm so glad they put this awning up. Little switcher here, 040, very cool. Oh, I see something, not this. This is cool too, don't get me wrong. But I see the J off in the distance. Another electrified engine here behind the GG1. Virginian. I see the top of the J. I'm excited. <laughs> Let me know what's your favorite steam engine, guys. What's your favorite diesel, steam, whatever?
The J is my number one. 484. Class J, 611. <laughs> Beautiful. Powerful. Built right here in Roanoke. Nineteen fifty. The only surviving. There were fourteen at one point. Just to give you some perspective, I'm six foot five, and these drivers come right up to the up to my forehead. <laughs> you just, you know, you see them in O gauge and HO, different scales and model railroading. You just don't get any idea exactly how big it is until you're up right beside it in person. The Spirit of Roanoke. They added that a few years ago. I'm glad they did that. I like that. Back of the J's tender, cold tender, and then she's got her water tender too. 25,000 gallons of water. went out to Strasburg two years ago. Little did I know the 611 would come up there and run excursions two weeks later. <laughs> so I just missed it. Then I went to Spencer, North Carolina. And I missed it down there by a few months. So it's been a reunion for me. I've always wanted to get back up here and see it again. I haven't seen it since 2001. My favorite engine. I've got two or three of them in O scale, I've got one in HO, I've got one in N scale. It's my favorite. Although I could spend hours looking at the J, I'm coming back up here to the A and check it out. I like that they do have this that you can walk up into the cab. This is cool. Let's go check this out. Very cool. You can go to uh, St. Louis Transportation Museum and they've got option like this for the big boy 4006. You can go up in the cab. It's pretty cool how they do this. Got an old Wabash E8 unit. Really good. I like the paint scheme on these. Really sharp. I wanted to make sure I got some video of that too before I left. I may have been wrong on that. This is not a Mastodon. It's a 280. I think the Mastodons are either 480 or 282s. Correct me in the comments if you would. 
that A2664, again, be really cool if they put that under steam again. Norfolk and Western has some special engines here. Got to keep up with the big boy. A couple other railroads that are restoring these steam locomotives. The J's up, and I'm, I'm happy for that. Let's get this 1218 back, right? I like this. Looks like the inside of a steam locomotive cab. You can watch some DVDs in here. This would be a nice little man cave set up right here. I gotta do something like this. All this is fitting for a railroad that calls itself a Nice little HO scale model. Anybody ever want one of these? and just go on some old abandoned railroad lines and just go out and do some scenic, I guess, riding. That'd be so cool. They have a really cool aviation section here too in the Transportation Museum. this as my movie theater. This is awesome. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> I want this. Instead of what I said earlier, this is definitely the one I want for my, uh, my basement. Very cool. Lights. I think that was an upgrade. I don't think they had those back in the day. Got a mail car. Postal service. Oh, 
this is awesome. Shout out to my dad who retired from the post office. Growing up, I was always a big fan of the diesels because that's what I grew up with, watching on the railroad. But at the older I get, the more I love the steam locomotives. There's just something about them. I've been fortunate enough to go to multiple railroads around the United States that still have steam. It's really fun. The kids enjoy it too. narrow gauge pretty cool little setup they got here wouldn't mind riding on on this I wonder when they use this very cool back outside again and we heard another train coming thought we'd check it out real quick all of the uh, Norfolk Southern Engineers have been real nice and waving and blowing the horn as they go by. Very cool. Oh, they got a BNSF on the second unit there. Been here about an hour and a half or so. There's been five trains. I was kind of shocked. Well, there it is, guys. Virginia Museum of Transportation, Roanoke, Virginia. Highly suggest it. Got as much in the video as I could. There's a lot more than just trains here. Was very happy to see the J and the A. Those are my favorite too. I do appreciate each and every one of you watching. If you would, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And go back and check out some of our other videos. I got a bunch of J videos on here. Got a bunch of other Norfolk and Western videos, other museums I've been to. Got the Norfolk and Western Y6B that's out in St. Louis. Got that video on there. St. Louis uh, Museum of Transportation. But thanks again for watching, guys. If you would, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Have a great day.